Let's talk to Dr. Charlie from Harley, a man who's got more letters after his name than in his name. Very good morning to you, morning, Dr. Charlie. Yeah, right. We've got a whole host of subjects to pick your brains on this morning. Let's kick off with a headline, Pill for Asthma. Have the med medical world, have they cracked it? It, it looks very promising. The trial was a limited number of people, I think uh, about 30 uh, in reality. So uh, when you have those early stage trials and they get fantastic results, it is something to get excited about, but it's not until they do the bigger study, which I believe is going to be 850 people, that one can be more confident. The other thing with uh, drug advances is that a lot of drugs in the early stage seem amazing, uh, but when you've only given them to a few people, you don't know how many side effects they right. really have. So it's not until much later that you actually find out whether the drug not only is good for the condition, but has a low enough level of side effects to be acceptable to the market. Um, but certainly the reports on the news were promising, encouraging, and uh, for a condition that's so common, uh, anything that can move it uh, that little bit further is very exciting. Okay, well I used to get asthma as a child, mm. and occasionally I get wheezy, yeah. which leads nicely into the second point. Mm. Air pollution, I read that six million people in China lose their lives through air pollution a year. Yeah. Um, I've, I've seen to have been sort of hay fevery, chesty this yeah. summer and I can't shift it. Is this all yeah. asthmatic? Is this the air yeah. pollution? Could that think, have a factor? Um, what you're talking about is a mixture of things. Um, so hay fever uh, and asthma can be related to allergens in the environment, and in the summer, obviously, there's, there are more of those. But separate from that, there's particulate matter caused by pollution. We live in a big city. Uh, we have lots of cars. We have lots of vehicles. We have lots of diesel fumes. And what we're now realizing is that particulate matter is harmful in some ways to the lungs, can lead right. to early heart disease and early deaths. Um, we're not London as it was. You know, London used to be peace. Smoke. Uh, absolutely. Apparently, if you wore that shirt within, you know, 10 yards, it would have been grey. So we've, we've advanced. But there's stuff that we can't see that is affecting us. So one of the interesting studies looked at cyclists in London. And what they concluded was that the overall benefits from cycling outweighed the negative impact of breathing in the bad air. But having said that, at a government level, at a legislative level, things ought to be done. Uh, and uh, the more we can reduce the amount of particulate matter in the air, the better. Uh, this is where hopefully the electric cars will come in, and who knows, maybe even the driverless cars in the future. Well, there's a thought. There's a thought. Let's take a very quick break, and then we'll be straight back. <laughs> 